right lovelies i'm going back to the tate gallery website i think it's one of the best websites for kids art and tate gallery is in the uk they have one in london and other parts i think there's four of them in the uk so i wanted to talk about um salvador dali today and he was a surrealist and welcome to the weird and wonderful world of Salvador Dali. I think it's nicer if I read a bit to you than I just show you and get you to read. So this is a Salvador Dali painting. Now, Salvador Dali made paintings and sculptures and films about dreams he had. So the work I'm going to get you to do this week is based on your dreams. Uh, he painted things. One of his most famous was his melting clocks and floating eyes, clouds that look like faces and rocks that look like bodies. Pretty cool. Sounds weird, right? But think about what paintings would look like if you, what your paintings would look like if you painted your dreams. They'd be pretty weird. Now, can I tell you my dreams are really weird. So my paintings would definitely be weird. Uh, he was involved in surrealism. So have a look at this one. Does that lake look like a fish? It does, doesn't it? All right. So um, the sculpture above is another artist. Um, I wonder why he painted a head of clouds. Pretty cool. All right. Now, the surrealist artists, they were influenced by the psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud. So Freud was a really famous doctor who studied the human mind and he tried to understand it. Now, Freud believed our mind was divided into two parts. Now, I spoke about this last week, surrealism, about the conscious part and the unconscious part of your mind. So the conscious mind is what we use to make decisions every day. So whether we walk or ride our bike to school, that's our conscious mind. But the unconscious mind is where our memories are stored. So most of the time, we're not really aware of our unconscious mind, but sometimes the memories stored there get mixed up in our dreams. And that's what Dali tried to paint. So our unconscious mind... That's where our memories are stored. So often in your dreams are parts of memories and things that you've seen that you don't even realise. Have a look at this, Salvador Dali. Can you see the landscape in the background? And then the rocks look like a man bending down and a hand holding an egg. Such interesting paintings. You could look at Dali paintings for a very long time. There's a chessboard in the background. Understanding art or appreciating art is often just seeing and looking at what you can see. It looks like there's an animal there to me. People here. Pretty amazing. Now, he was born in 1904 in Spain. Um, he often included the scenery he saw as a boy in his painting. Oh, that's an amazing moustache. Yeah, so he was born in Spain and that's some of the Spanish landscape in the background there. What a suave looking man, Salvador Dali. He was very eccentric. Now, that means a little bit crazy. I think I'm a bit eccentric. All right, he had that funny moustache. Um, he was expelled from art school just before his final exam because he said that none of the teachers were qualified to examine him or oh, he was cheeky. Now you guys did some surrealist art for me last week, either cutting out magazines or using Google Draw PNG images and that's a bit like, I mean this was actually um, a sculpture but a bit like what you did. All right, he went to Paris after leaving art school and that's where he met all the surrealists. Paris was the place to be. Yeah. And the surrealists appealed to his wild sense of humour. That's what I loved about some of the artwork you guys sent me. Is the sense of humour that you had. They invented surrealist games and enjoyed putting different objects together to make something playful. 
and disturbing at the same time. Here's his version of a surrealist sculpture. Oh my goodness. So we're going to put two objects together to create surrealism sculptures and I'm going to get you to send me photos of those. I'm going to do some today. How fun. All right. There is Salvador Dali. I think he's got a spray can. Yep, spraying foam. Cool. All right, so do you think Salvador Dali's artwork is funny, weird, scary? I reckon a little bit of all the above. A little bit of all the above. All right, so these are my Salvador Dali inspired sculptures, the photos that I took of my sculptures. So my first sculpture was a broccoli shoe. <laughs> so Salvador Dali usually only used two objects for his weird sculptures, and they're objects that you don't normally see together. So you don't normally see a broccoli in a shoe. I use the edit. Um, on my phone to get a bit of contrast to so to make the colors really stand out and the shapes stand out you can do that on your phone or on an iPad um, I want you to spend a little bit of time setting up your photo so this is my radio plant playing classical music my plants love classical music my banana teapot now it was my first photo but then i set it up again on some paper because i really wanted that really cool shadow so take your time setting up your photos your photos are almost as much your art piece as your cool sculptures then the last one i took was my food chess photos I probably took about 20 photos and I just chose my best ones that I thought I liked the best now I would love for you to start taking a dream diary because my next show after the holidays will all be inspired by Salvador Dali's art pieces which are often about dreams so if you even just write down or you can do some drawings about the dreams you have in the next few weeks weird and wonderful dreams my next show will be based on that so it's important that you've started to take some notes of your dreams I'm going to do that Nick are you going to do that okay thank you I can't wait to see your wonderful photos of your cool Salvador Dali sculptures <laughs>